Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here from Polymathics. And today we're continuing our series on About Face, which is helping military members avoid common pitfalls and pointing them in the right direction so that they can have a successful transition into the civilian sector. And the thing that I want to focus on today is cultivating new skills. Let's face it, as military members, especially those of us who stayed in for a while, right, past one enlistment, we kind of start to rest on our past laurels and we kind of start to get complacent thinking that, you know, we, we know everything there is because we've been doing the job for several years and although that may be true and you become somewhat of a subject matter expert in whatever field it is or, or job or duty that you do, um, you should never rest on your past laurels. You should always be trying to cultivate new skills that you can build um, either depth in that which you already know or breadth so that it gives you a more holistic perspective on what it is that you do. What this allows for is for you to provide more value to your employer. So I'll give you a perfect example. Um, if you're someone who worked uh, missiles your whole life and that was your job, then maybe you are the expert at missiles or maybe you are the expert at computer programming. But the thing is, is just because you're the expert at that doesn't mean that you can cultivate your skills more, say for example, um, by taking a speech class or by um, you know, watching YouTube videos on how to present a better argument or the, the point is, is, you know, having a technical expertise is perfect and great and having that logic IQ in the area is great, but you also want to focus on the emotional intelligence that revolves around jobs as well. So cultivating those social skills and social dexterity so that when you are in conversations with a prospective client or um, employer, you're able to articulate that which you can do. Because this is one, and this is one of the biggest things that, that we see also is, is people who are subject matter experts in any given field and could talk very in the weeds and in depth about the technological capabilities and blah 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 but the problem is it's not consumable to the person you're talking to they don't understand what you're saying and so um, a lot of times what we see is is if military members could just focus and this is more than just military members but for this for the sake of this video we're gonna stick with that if they could just you know try to build up their communication skills a little better they could they would be able to translate all the jargon that they're using into something that that a prospective client will understand and this is particularly important when you're planning on transitioning out into um, the civilian sector where they're not familiar with military terms you know so maybe maybe that's an area where you can build your skill sets in and is finding out, identifying what are those key terms and phrases that the civilian equivalent uses so that when you transition out you understand how to how to explain things to them. And um, so what I don't want you to think though is we're not just focusing on social skills. Maybe you're a great orator. Maybe you can give, you know, amazing speeches, maybe you're very articulate, then look into some other aspect. Uh, something that just came to my mind because it's something I've been thinking about is taking piloting lessons. And the only reason is because um, a friend of mine who is a pilot told me, you know, as a pilot, they learn so much about life, right? There's a philosophy behind um, flying where you're the only one that can save yourself so you have to know everything and and 
anyways, it was very interesting. It was very intriguing. And it got me to thinking like, maybe that's something that I need to add to my skill set. Not only for the thrill of flying and being able to, you know, pilot, pilot a plane, but to understand the philosophy behind it. Because if I can better understand that, or if you could better understand whatever it is, new skill set that you're looking at, it's going to help broaden your horizons and provide more depth in whatever whatever service that you do provide to prospective employers and clients. So um, the last thing that I'm going to, to cover here in this video is, okay, so where do you find that information? And as a military member, I have to tell you, you are so lucky and so blessed to have so many different resources. Um, while you're in, you have free tuition. So, you know, taking classes, not to get a degree, that's not the point, but taking classes to, to broaden your skill sets and to develop yourself more is always a good idea. The other thing is YouTube videos. YouTube is a infantile version of what the future of college and education is going to be in the world and for those of you that aren't familiar with that like start look into that that's an interesting thing to, to discover um but so that there's youtube videos and how-to videos and and um of course you have your your more traditional routes like the library and um maybe you want to find a mentor maybe you Maybe you go and take lessons for a spe specific skill set. And the thing is, sometimes it's better to get a skill set that is wildly outside of your comfort zone and your general um, your general duties that you normally perform. Because it's going to give you a completely different perspective of the world. Something that you haven't seen will be new and fresh and hopefully um invigorating so um the and then for those of you who are out of the military using your education benefits have a double uh effect because not only do you get to learn new things but whether you're going to school part-time or full-time you are given pay you're paid bah and so that additional money helps alleviate the costs that you have um, for your family or yourself while you're, you know, going through your transition. So it's a really smart move. Um, and then the last thing is, as military members, we are in a community that is very tight knit, very family like in a lot of different ways. And so there are multiple people in your network that I guarantee you could teach you skills. And, and things that will help you along the way. So, my recommendation would be to think about what's the one or two things that you'd be interested in learning, whether they're closer to your skill sets or they're wildly outside of your comfort zone. Take, take a few moments, think about what they are, and try to figure out how could I, how could you, um, you know, get involved in, in those events, in those skills, in those, um, you know, learning activities in the next day to week. Maybe as a writer, maybe you don't want to go to college, but there are multiple writing courses. If you want to act, and I know that's, I mean, maybe that's far-fetched for some, but for others, that's what they want to do. That's their dream. Or maybe it's their hobby. Go out and find acting classes, right? Even, even acting will help you better develop your social skills. There's so many different areas in life where we can cultivate ourselves and, and um, become the best versions of ourselves. But um, you have to constantly be pushing the envelope and not resting on your past laurels. So I will leave you with that. I hope it's been helpful. And if it has and you like this, please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And as always, if you know military members who you think that this might help, then please feel free to share this with them. Um, all this information is free and I hope beneficial to them uh, to help them transition into a job that they deserve. So, 
Until next time, take it easy.